Hey, what's happening, YouTube? We're back out of here with the ROG Ally again. I've been waiting for a month for this part here to arrive. It's a 90 degree adapter. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it. So, first thing you wanna do after opening your Ally, there are four screws you need to remove. There's one here on the right side, here one on the left, this one underneath here, and then there's another one here. Now, you you should technically re disconnect the battery. I, I'm just gonna wing it here, you know through this part here now i was one of those that as you can see i cut up my cable here because i wanted to fit a full size 2280 uh m.2 drive into mine without having to pay you know the extra price but you know it worked i ha and i've had no issues the, the entire time i've done it since the original video i uploaded however the one issue uh and the reason i did it is because my you know sd card reader died so I did do an MRA, uh, RMA, RMA, and I never sent it in. I'm like, no, uh, they haven't fixed it. I keep seeing posts where, you know, they're being sent in, nothing's being fixed. So it's like, why send mine? I could use my ally for a month or two before I get anything back. So anyways, now when it comes to installing the adapter here, the one thing I like about this extension piece here, uh, there's no components running in the back. So you don't have to worry about like, you know, if you accidentally bend this a little bit or anything like that. So this one's gonna, you know, once we install it here, we have our little piece here to actually hold it in place. The last thing you want is, you know, you're moving it, you're you're going to work or something and you know, you have it inside and it comes out loose. You can't play, you have to like reinstall it and everything. Now, before you install this part here, the one thing I do suggest is you have this little piece here. This one's gonna land right on top of the power connector. So if you want, and I highly suggest it, is you know just get a little bit of el electrical tape, cut a small piece just enough to cover up your components, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. You know, just just enough to cover everything up, because when you install this and you when you're putting this in you just want to make sure you hear that little click which I did here on mine lands right where the screws at the nice thing about the screw they provide it has a flat head on the very top here luckily this screwdriver is magnetic holds it in place installed here and then we have the tape so we don't have to worry about the components here okay so just a little bit of advice there. Ah, there we go. Woo, that took forever. Oh, scary. Make sure it goes flat. Now, one thing to know is this one here is actually a Gen 3, not a Gen 4. In reality, you're not really gonna notice those differences unless it's a loading screen, but even then, I've never had issues with it. So I actually don't mind some being like, oh, that's a performance decrease. Not really. Your biggest bottleneck when it comes to the Ally is, you know, your 16 gigs of VRAM and the memory speed, but it's just the GPU performance of the APU. So in reality, you know, being on Gen 3 compared to Gen 4, sure, large transfer files, but you're gonna be just fine. The re biggest reason I wanted to do the adapter is because if you had the other one, you know, cut out the plastic pieces, that the battery bulges just a little bit where you can close the ally, but you're definitely putting some pressure on the battery. Now, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. All right, we have our ally here. We got power, good sign right there. And hey, there we go. So let's see how it runs. You know, if we get past miles, it's a good sign. Yes, I know, like smudges everywhere. You know, this screen's protect is not the best. There we go, it's working, fantastic. Great armory crate and all the games are still there, even better, fantastic. So, works just fine, no issues whatsoever. Yes, it is dead a little bit. Um, hey, there you go, works just fine. So, if you're installing it, um, just like to add that electrical tape, no issues, no more bulging in the back. Um, easy upgrade, you know, you don't have to remove the battery anymore. Uh, with these right here, 
my biggest suggestion these are gen 4s go ahead and buy yourself a little adapter you can get one of these on amazon for like ten dollars a little cheaper if you go on like ebay uh aliexpress for you know seven bucks you just have to wait a while for, for them to arrive but hey then you'll have a fast you know usb so hope this video was helpful everybody leave a like please it really helps out and have a fantastic day